YouTube, we back with another vlog, we back with another video. Before I get started with this vlog, I just first want to apologize for taking so long to post. I usually post every day, every two days, and my intentions really are to post every day. But these last couple days, I've been bonding with my family off camera. We like to record, we like to give y'all content, but at the same time, we really like this off camera too. We really enjoy being in each other's presence, you feel me? The camera's not always necessary. If I do miss a few days, then that's the reason, but moving forward, I'm really trying to give y'all daily content, if not daily content, every other day. So just know if I'm missing too long, if we missing too long, something's wrong. But today has been a beautiful day thus far. It's a very bright day outside. I'm actually getting dressed because my little brother is a couple games away from the championship. The championship is on Friday. They've made it far. So this is probably like the game before the championship. And, and I ain't going to lie, they undefeated in the conference. They undefeated in their bracket, like the teams that are in their league. He undefeated, so he did an amazing job this season, man. He definitely turned it up. If y'all was paying attention, if y'all was aware, he was kind of, um, hold on. I got to get my beater on. I don't want to keep showing y'all the chest muscles. That's what the that's what the gym been doing, but I don't want to get too much into that. In the beginning of the season, I felt like he was, he was struggling with his aggression. He was struggling with trying to be dominant. But finishing out the season, man, he's giving everybody the show that they want to see. He really turning up on every level, on and off the court. He's speaking up for himself. I know throughout the vlogs, y'all be hearing me say, I got to watch out for him and all that. I do, but he definitely is growing. He's growing into the man that uh speaks up for himself and, and, and don't just allow people to say and do whatever they want to him. I am proud of that. But today, we are traveling to see. We traveling to see another game, man. You feel me? I feel like this is not only... And, and, and to clear this up, too, I'm not a sports watcher. You feel me? I'm not a sports watcher. I'm not a TV watcher. I'm not none of that. The only reason that I enjoy going to these basketball games is because it's my little brother. I want to clear that up right now. There's a lot of people that ask me, like, oh, you into sports or this and that. When I played football, I was into it. You feel me? When I played basketball, I was into it. Now that I'm a businessman, now that I'm focusing on my real life, not sports, I really don't have time to sit around and talk about whose team is what. I don't own none of them teams, you feel me? So that's not on my priority list. But because my little brother plays basketball, I make it a part of my life. And we really all do. My mom start learning about sports when she ain't have a clue what was what just because we were the ones that were involved and we were the ones that uh that played but um right now chef g in the kitchen whipping up some um what do you call it she whipping up some uh what do you call it she whipping up some grilled cheeses me and a favorite but she's spicing it up with a little bit of turkey bacon in between like in between the sandwiches and um that's what we going that's what we going to eat before we head out it's it's essential that we eat something cuz the game probably like an hour and some change away hour and some change back that's 3 hours and every every time we all together we do it but we try to limit the amount of times that we just eating out because we a big family and when we go out to eat together no lie it's like somebody rent i ain't even going to hold you Cause we don't really, you feel me? Oh, you can't eat that. You can't. We don't do that. We usually get what we want, and we all know how to eat. So the tab be kind of high when we do it like that. So on days like this, it's best to play it smart and make something in the crib before we leave. When Amina get home from school, we are gonna pack up and we are gonna get ready to head out. Today we did get a little workout in. Um, we walked. We didn't get a chance to go to the gym because of some things that transpired this morning but working out being healthy that's a lifestyle so when we miss a day or two it doesn't really frustrate us it used to it used to but that's because we used to go hard first couple of weeks and then stop and then we'll be worried but ever since we made working out into a lifestyle it doesn't 
really bother us when we miss a day or two. We just look at it as we look at it as a day that our body needed rest, a day to recover. With that being said, man, we about to hop on a roll. We about to get to it. I know today is going to be an amazing rest of the day. The day is kind of halfway over. You feel me? The day is kind of halfway over, but up until this point, it's been well. I want to let y'all know to also protect your energy, man. Protect your journey. Protect your destiny. If you watching this right now, you are meant to go far in life. You are meant to be successful. You are meant to live the life you deserve. Don't let anybody else tell you anything different. So protect yourself from people who don't want to see you get there or from people who don't believe in you. Stay around some genuine people and run away from negativity. If anybody has anything negative to say to you, about you, stay away from them because they mean you no good. They mean you no good. I hope y'all enjoying these videos. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and pray for me, y'all. Pray for my family. Pray that we get to give y'all a piece of content every day. You feel me? If you enjoying the content, if you enjoying seeing us show up, make sure you like that button. Make sure you like that button. Make sure you leave a comment. And make sure you just continue to say something to give us the motivation to keep pushing and keep striving, keep growing. And we got to get back to y'all with the workout videos. I told y'all we've been doing some stuff off camera. But if y'all like the workout, if y'all like seeing us getting it in, just let us know. We can incorporate, try to incorporate something. Because like I told you, we, we do work out outside of the gym too. We might hit something outside or at the house or wherever we can. But we just prefer to go to the gym. But if not, that shouldn't stop you from doing anything. That shouldn't stop you from building that shit not stop you from bulking up. And yeah, that's really it. They doing their thing though, it's 19-5 by sewing them up. It's the semi, this is the semi-final, so the game is lit. Good morning, good morning. Welcome back to the unapologetically chosen TV show. We giving y'all the raw, we giving y'all the uncut, we giving y'all daily vlogs. Tomorrow, this morning, we started off our day in the gym. Now, right now, I'm by myself, I'm taking a little walk in nature. And it's just beautiful, it's beautiful to smell the fresh air, be around the trees. I usually don't take my phone with me, but today I wanted to vlog a little bit with y'all while I'm on this walk. And I just want to let y'all know that protect your energy, protect your mindset, protect your goals, protect everything, you feel me? Everything is ahead of you, but it's the little distractions. It's the distractions. It's the people pulling at you. It's the people stringing at you that hinder some people from getting to where they need to go. So just make sure you're protecting everything about you, your family, you feel me? Stay close. Stay close to some people that you can trust. Stay close to some people that you trust with your life. If you don't trust them with your life, then it's just certain information they shouldn't know about you. It's certain information they shouldn't know about you. But um, this is how this is how we start our mornings. For well, me, this is how I start my morning. My mom usually work out in the morning too. My brothers and sisters. They go to school and all that. E, I don't know when E work out. E work out when, whenever he want to take his shirt off and flex for somebody. I don't know. I don't know. E work out when he want to work out. But I know. I got to get it in every morning. I gotta try to get it up every morning, not just for the look, but it does something. It does something for. It does something for me. It makes me want to attack the day. It makes me want to attack the day a certain way. If I just get up 
and get straight focused to work, as you should say, or doing things that I require for you to do, a business, whatever. It puts you in a mindset of, I don't know, you got to continue to work on yourself. Like, even if you got a job, you got a business, you have to work on yourself more than you work on that business or more than you work on that job because that's how you evolve. That's how you get ahead. That's how you become sharper. You got to learn more and you got to just become a, a, a better person than you were. Work harder on yourself than you do at that job. Work harder on yourself than you do. You feel me on that business, I promise you. You're gonna to continue to grow. You're gonna to continue to evolve. I just wanna say, I love y'all, man. I thank y'all. Y'all growing with us day by day. We know we're nowhere near where we wanna be, but you gotta be grateful for where, for where you at. So I just wanna say, I thank y'all. I appreciate y'all. I hope y'all outside, you feel me? Getting some fresh air, walking, taking care of your, your body. I call it loving yourself. Because the more you exercise, you're more likely to be on this earth longer. You're more likely to um, preserve your body and then not get all washed up. It's more likely. It's definitely more likely. But it's a little chilly out here. Yeah, I do got shorts on. That's how I kill the germs. I keep the shorts on to kill all the germs. So, I'm going to talk a little bit. Y'all, we haven't shared this with y'all yet. Because we don't like to talk too soon. But it's on Saturday. But um, we're doing a food giveaway. Like a little food drive. More than a food drive. Because... Alright, y'all. I don't know. I was so rudely interrupted by that loud siren. siren that I don't know what it's for. But it happens often. But anyway, what I was saying was... Before I get back to that, we are on our walk. You know, we always got to put that in there about our health. So we definitely on our walk. We did hit the gym. I had to say that. Y'all got to know that because we got we to gotta be better with our health. So anyway, I was saying we haven't told y'all yet because we don't like to talk too much before we do things. But we're starting a food drive, an apologetically chosen food drive. And it's a little bit more than just food. Um, this is going to be our first one. So... I was just telling Corns that we gotta do the sandwiches. We're gonna do sandwiches, chips, waters, and some dessert this time. Um, just to see how it goes, see how many people, you know. Plus, I really wanted to do hot food, but it's cold, so we're gonna do that. And then, but I'm I'm also doing um, I'm giving away toothbrushes, toothpaste, small thing of toothpaste, and soap, and a washcloth. So that's what we're gonna do on Saturday. I'm really, really excited about it. And I was just telling him. Make the sandwiches on Friday so it can be fresh. I got a, I got a team of people. Of course, you know my family. And then I got um, a couple of good friends of mine that are helping. And um, and we're going to just go out this Saturday and bless people. This is something that God laid on my heart. And this is what I want to do. And I want y'all to witness it. So, of course, y'all going to see us making sandwiches and all that. Putting everything together. All the bags. And y'all going to be with us on Saturday, too. When we actually out there touching the people. So y'all can see, just showing love and blessing people. But stay tuned, I'm excited. God's your father now. Like, subscribe, and ring that bell notification for more vlogs. Let's get it.